You asked and I'm delivering. Here's part two of Costco skincare finds as a cosmetic chemist. Up uh, first, we have Olay vitamin C and peptide. This product cracks me up because on Olay's website, they call the peptides in here bosbade molecules. Like, okay, Olay, I see you trying to get with it. I think this product is all right. It uses a vitamin C derivative, vitamin E, and a peptide. Can you get something better? Yes, but this price isn't bad. Next, we have Olay's Regenerous Cream. Just a personal preference, but I don't like when brands put titanium dioxide and mica into a formula that I might want to use at night. I would probably use this lotion during the daytime, and it probably provides nice hydration, but you can definitely get something better. By the way, there's nothing wrong with titanium dioxide and mica. Olay Retinol 24. This product has retinol and a retinol ester in it, which helps the product be less irritating to the skin. For this price and what you're getting, I choose this one out of the three Olay products that are here at Costco. But if you're trying to get the full effects of retinol, I would use a targeted serum instead of one that's combined with a moisturizer. Next, we have Strivectin's Contour Restore. If you're going to try this product, get it from Costco because it is a way better deal. The product has a ton of interesting actives that I haven't seen in most moisturizers, including a patented encapsulated ornithine, which supposedly increases fat fatty tissue growth, great for mature skin, I would recommend. She do be pricey though. Keep in mind the results won't be the same for everybody. Last, we have this body lotion from Sebamed. For $30, I definitely pass on this. Their whole marketing claims to be pH friendly on skin. However, all lotions should be formulated that way anyways. I'd probably choose Aveeno over this. What store should I check out next? 